Hello everyone, this is the vlog that follows that real talk. Most likely if I didn't post the real talk, well, I don't know. Yeah, right now I have like lots of stuff that I should be posting, but yet I didn't post it for some reason or another. Oh, anyways, today this vlog actually deals with what drives kids into violence. Yeah. This really 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 which is kind of funny I'm also playing this video game Saints Row I actually have the first one it's very funny because I'm playing this game and I'm talking about oh no you don't <laughs> he's about to escape I'm like oh no you don't but still things that actually kid yeah I would say video games was on TV that does also but you also have to deal with what they see around them too. It's not only what's on TV, it's also what they see around them. So if only fighting and car chases and stealing stuff is all they know, then chances are you might actually be screwed or the kid might be screwed. The only way to comprehend this is just the fact of find something that he could actually or she could actually look at too besides just <clears throat> um thank you idiot oh frick he got a club screw you screw you Mike Jones Mike Jones <laughs> Matt Jones Mike Jones <laughs> uh... Come on, dude. There we go. Oh my gosh, I hate freaking damn packages. Freaking damn you, man. Yeah, the packages suck like hell. I mean, seriously, why the frick do we need a package? Yeah, I used to not do packages. I mean, I did do packages, then I said, man, packages are a pain in the butt. And then I was like, ah, fine, why not? No, we're going to do it right here. Oh, frick, fine, I'll use that stupid car. <clears throat> you know, packages are seriously a pain in the butt. What's worse is the fact that you're parked somewhere different and they actually think, hey, I want to use exactly the same freaking car I came in. So, yeah. I would like to say that sadly yes TV can encourage violence video games can encourage violence but the thing is is that hey if you are actually being a parent you most likely won't have that happen All right, for instance with me when I was little I was not even able to hold a water gun I was not able to hold a water gun and that's for watching stuff on TV. I know what not to watch. And I definitely didn't watch Jerry. Yeah, I didn't watch Jerry Springer. <clears throat> Mostly some things that are like, yeah, it's boring as hell. I will most likely watch it. But still. To allow them to watch talk shows too is kind of messed up as well. Oh, man. I wish I oh the gun yes I got ammo for it holla 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 if you want the dollar <laughs> um let's deal yeah oh wait shoot yeah shoot yeah stupid shoot yeah <laughs> oh no don't you dare no oh, no don't you dare don't you dare oh no oh no hell no hell no all right, give me a shotgun. I want my shotgun right now. Frick. Why don't you... Oh, it's a freaking club. Seriously, it's a freaking damn club. Oh, he had the shotgun. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so there's lots of stuff that... When I was little, they everyone was like, Oh my gosh. Like, the first one had to be Power Rangers. Power Rangers was very, very lively back then. 
Yeah, not until now, which they all they do have the fighting, but it wasn't like as intense as it once was. I mean, that's one reason why lots of people watched Power Rangers was the fact that they had intense fighting and they had a plot that correspond with the fighting of why the fighting was occurring. So it's kind of like that. I mean, seriously. I stopped on that. Screw this. I want to get some grenades. I really do. I want some grenades. I wish I could find grenades very, very easily, but I can't. See you later, stupid. Yeah, but Power Rangers, yeah, lots of parents rode in on that saying how, oh my god, Power Rangers had so much violence and everything, and eventually it came to the point of where they're like, all right, we got to cut back on the violence. Sadly, I don't know when they did it. I think they might have stopped doing it. Maybe they might have stopped doing it the first season. Maybe they stopped doing it like a few years later. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure about it. Oh frick, it's going to explode. Oh damn. I as well be careful. Oh, frick. Oh, dang. Get down. Get down on the ground. Screw y'all. See ya. Oh, frick. No, Calmer. See ya. <laughs> Taking his freaking destroyed car. Yeah, you know, taking this droid car that could explode at any minute. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm about to die. About to die. About to die. Anyways, when I was when I was growing up, you didn't really have all the gun video games. I mean, yeah, you had Resident Evil was coming out of nowhere. You had James Bond GoldenEye. You had Grand Theft Auto, which Grand Theft Auto basically. As soon as I was a teenager or a preteen, that became like something that was a real, real big, oh my gosh, that's not good for children. Even though the original Grand Theft Auto, which I'm still trying to get, <clears throat> it was actually rated T for teen. I mean, yeah, given back then they had simple-minded stuff. What the heck? Why in the world am I feeling warm all of a sudden? <laughs> What the heck am I burning? Is there fire? What the heck? Well, anyways. <clears throat> yeah. So, the only thing really to really to be like, oh my gosh, about it was Power Rangers. And I bet maybe they even talked about whole VR Troopers, too, even though. Yeah, I'm not sure. <clears throat> Violence art is toned down today, I can tell you that, but. It used to be very, very good a long time ago. Yeah, all because of the freaking moms. I mean, understood. Yeah, you don't want to have all your kids going to school and fighting and stuff. Yeah, that's understandable. But still, it's kind of like, uh, why don't you just make it the generation that not only had fighting on TV, but also the fact of you went, you went to the dojo got your kid enrolled and he learned the fact of it's only for self-defense and he knows how to actually do it very well without hurting himself given yes he could actually hurt the other people but it depends on if you raise the good kid or the bad kid so <clears throat> yeah it kind of still falls on to you you want to come give me your coppers dun -dun 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 -dun. Too bad you guys are stupid hoppers. Dun -dun 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 -dun. <laughs> you fool me, wife. Shame on you. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Too bad I know freaking gun kung fu. Dun -dun 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 -dun. <laughs> yeah. Funny. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I wasn't watching. I wasn't even looking where I was going. Sorry, right, man. My bad, <laughs> my bad, my bad, I wasn't looking. <laughs> you see, uh, even yeah, today's terms, all you have is texting and driving. The fact that you're like, 
no, don't text and drive, even though I'm trying to find some loophole where you're like, yeah, you have to text and drive. Yeah, I mean, there's like some way of actually thinking about how texting and driving actually works. There's some way. Hey, pimp! Pimp in your butt! I just killed the pimp. You shouldn't be afraid of me. You shouldn't fear me. You only fear the pimps and the hoes. Oh, yeah. Look at you guys come after me because you guys suck and wear blue. Oh, yeah. You guys want to have some black and blue, Mickey? <laughs> it's like, hey, you want to take a ride with me, Mickey? <laughs> come on, get on my fun train. <laughs> Choo -choo. Oh man, I love that one. That was too funny. Okay, you want to come with me, Kmart? Come get me, Kmart. Yeah, come on, stupid. Come on, blue light special. You're an idiot. Oh man, why in the world aren't you coming to get me, you dumb freaking idiot? And what's up? You're fatty? You're McFatty McFatterton? Is that why you can go and get me? But still, one thing that you really need to know is self-control. The fact of what's the difference between real life and video game. Video game, it's okay you're shooting people. It's fine. But in real life, if you actually translate it... Freaking dang idiot! No, you don't! Don't do anybody want to do that, mamba. Don't do it, do it, do Oh yeah, you know who sucks? Clifford. <laughs> oh, the police officer just flipped my ride. Now I'm gonna run. B9, B9. Oh my gosh. Big fat tubby. Big fat tubby. Run away, big fat tubby. 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 Come on, stupid police officer. You're blocking the freaking action, aren't you, you dumbass? Shock him up. Whoosh. Took him down. Freeze, police! Ouch. Yeah, yeah, go get him, man. Go get him. I didn't do crap! I didn't do crap! Stop it! Stop following me! No! <laughs> and I made sure I, it ran out, so that means that A can't get me. They are too stupid. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no. But one thing I do have to admit is I really wanted to have a video game that will actually have a chase me. Video game that actually has a cars that actually chase you around and stuff. I mean, seriously, I really want that. And sadly, racing games don't allow you to do that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, give me all your money. Oh, frick, I'm going out the back door if I can. Run, get out the back door. Go, go. Red for freedom! Wow, shooting the crap out of that idiot! <laughs> you see you later, idiot. You blocked your exit, sucker. <laughs> Getting in the wrong mood. Getting in the highway. Running for dirty. Because I stole money from freaking liquor places. That's one place that sucks. It's liquor places that liquor people up. And make them want to kill people. <laughs> uh. But still. If you have self-control and you know what's the difference between real life and what's not real life. I think you'll be okay. I mean. And plus it's a good place to get out your aggression. Yeah, instead of actually doing it in real life. You can just do it here. Yeah, good stuff. Oh, ouch, ouch, it hurts, it hurts, I went straight through the freaking fence, suck it losers, you can't kill me, can you, <laughs> uh, you losers, it's like you guys are a bunch of losers.
you know, on this game, I actually stood on the subway and I actually said to myself, oh, I wonder where it's gonna, where he's gonna come from. And then right from behind, whoosh, and just got blindsided. Yeah, try to catch me now, coppers, I'm gonna, wow, okay, now, try to catch me now, coppers, I'm gonna do suicide. Suicide, whoosh. There we go, right in the water. Save my butt. Because you guys can't shoot. Well, you can't shoot in the water, but you can't shoot me now. I'm safe in the water. Safe in the water, yeah. No one can stop me because I'm in the water. I'm Aquaman with bullets. <laughs> All right. Oh, man, I almost fell back in the water. That's what we're not trying to do. Mm, man. Look at those stupid idiots just passed me by. And look at that. I made it right back to my car. Uh, you gotta love warping. But anyways, got back in my freaking car. Dun, 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 dun. It's a mockingbird with a VCR. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> uh, I really want to make a tune for this channel. Yeah, I'm gonna make a tune. So no one could actually be like, oh my gosh, he's using our property. So for future f videos, I can actually just make, well, it's not going to be for future videos. I don't think so. Because everyone's going to get annoyed. With it. Homer, are you serious, Homer? Are you serious? Really, Homer? Really? Like, Stan, go on, Stan. You know, Stan? Like, come on, Stan. <laughs> Foosh! Yeah! I'm just enjoying this game. I guess I should just wrap this up and complete, continue to actually play this game. So, in all, I would say for kids being cursed by violence, yeah, t stuff that's on TV does, kind of does. Kids are very, very suggestive, I guess that's what to say. So even though you have, what was it, the V-chip? Yeah, I remember when the V-chip first came out, it was a piece of crap. Oh, yeah, but still, you know, technically Goosebumps even had the idea of the V-chip, but sadly, since the V-chip came, their funny way of loading thing, their, the way they labeled it was GB7, but then freaking dumb, stupid, V chip screwed it all up because they came up with it first and then they're like, Oh yeah, well you're not gonna have to label it under us and we have it in T V Y seven like they had something very good going on and it's not right that you actually tell them, Hey, you need to change it. It was very cool what they did and if they came up with the idea first and you got the idea from them they shouldn't change diddly squat they should actually al be allowed to actually have that because it still says seven years of age but still yeah the real thing that's going on is the freaking parents just like what T family guy said that one episode the parents are really the big deal on this i mean if you don't want to be violent then make sure you stop them from watching t tv shows you don't want them to watch or video games you don't want them to have or music that you don't want them to have or magazines you don't want them to have and the list keeps on going on things that they shouldn't actually have I mean I'm not sure I can't really make this observation but I think since I actually was born without not born but I actually lived without MTV I might actually have become a bit better instead of being like, oh, MTV, yeah, I remember the time when they told me first ever to keep putting my pants down and stuff. Like, really? We don't really need to have our pants down. Dude, do you remember the time where pulling someone's pants down was supposed to be funny as hell? Yeah, I mean, seriously. It's supposed to actually have been something funny. It's something that's humiliating. And what you guys are doing now with your pants showing your freaking underwear, that's supposed to actually have been funny. That's one thing that you guys don't get. It was something funny. 
even though technically yeah they got it from freaking prison that's where it first came from prison I don't know there's two stories I heard one story where it was like it's because with your pants sagging like that that means you were the girl you're the guy who you got the freaking gang members who's in there who's now on the down low yeah you're the guy that they freaking rape and stuff other hand what I heard is just that the police just wanted the jail places actually just wanted to humiliate them even more so they told them to put their pants down and not only that but they also were wearing pink underwear too so yeah so it's kinda messed up how it goes even music music videos can kind of screw things screw you lady no coppers you can't catch me I'm the gingerbread man <laughs> but still it really goes down to the parents I mean if you have a guy who turned evil either a he was evil to begin with like Bart or B is like Bart. The fact that if you had like a little bit more encouragement and everything else, he could actually become a decent individual like he did in the future, even though you can also make it so that he has his own way. You know, he actually is benef beneficial to the world and to himself and not just straight up someone who is a good person at heart, but he definitely hmm yes I can steal from him too <laughs> why did you have to do that man why you had to tell him man yeah yeah hey you freaking you're the one who had to do crap there's no way out there's no way out I can't make it out of here alive no. I'm bringing out my shotgun. Don't you dare kid me or I'll get you. You want to come out? I'm going to... Screw you. Be mine. Be mine. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> but I think that's just the end. That's the end of everything. Thank you for listening, and I'm done. I am just going to continue on wrecking havoc here in freaking Saints Row. I know it's messed up. Chances are if kids actually had their hands on this today, they could actually have become corrupted or get suggestive ideas. But, hey, whatever. I mean, if it's not video games, it's TV. If it's not TV, it's music. If it's not music... It could be something that he's actually reading online or viral videos so yeah you're really gonna have to patrol or at least maybe give good ground in the beginning so <coughs> when this all does occur he actually knows that yeah I shouldn't be watching this holla holla so thank you for listening and I am out. Have a good day. See ya.